Hello everyone! If you're working with JetSmart filters and want to display only upcoming events on your site without making your users click a single filter or having to manually update a custom query every day, this tutorial is for you. And if you find that this makes your life easier or gives you ideas about the future projects, please hit the like button below the video and share your thoughts in the comments section. So here's my current setup. Of course, I have JetSmart filters plugin installed and activated as well as Jet Engine which I believe is the best tool for creating listings and the queries necessary for this functionality. I also have custom post types created with one particular meta field called date, which is used to store information about the occurrence of each event. I've created a listing templates that will be displayed through a listing grid where the event date is clearly visible so we can verify if our date filter is working. Let's head over to the page where I plan to insert a dynamic event listing that updates automatically based on whether the events are in the future or already in the past. First, let's insert a widget that is essential for this functionality. It's part of the JetSmart Filters plugin and it's called the Hidden Filter. Its main objective is to pass a constantly updated value, in this case the current date, to the query that will be applied to the listing grid. For this widget, we need to configure the settings under the Content tab. This filter for dropdown lets you choose the source of the listing to be filtered. In our case, since we're using a listing grid, we'll select Jet Engine. Next, you'll see a field for choosing apply type options. Both options, Ajax and Mixed, ensure the filter is applied when the page initially loads. The difference is that the second one adds a unique query string to the page URL based on the listing grid output. For the argument type, leave the default option set to plain. This is important because it allows the hidden filter to work as a query parameter. In the name field, type the filter's name that will be used when building custom query. Now in the value field, we need to input a shortcode. Its first part is the jet engine macro that returns the current date, and the second part specifies the context for that macro, which in our case is the default object. In the final field, we enter the query ID which must match the CSS ID of the listing grid that the hidden filter will control. Now let's insert a listing grid widget and specify the source for the listing. The next important step is connecting the grid to the hidden filter. To do this, go to the advanced settings of the listing grid and input the same value into the CSS ID field that you used as the query ID in the hidden filter. Next, we need to apply a custom query to this listing grid, one that will take into account the value from the hidden filter. But first we have to create that query. Head over to the Jet Engine Query Builder and start creating a new custom query. Give it a name, leave the query type as Post Query and under General Settings select the Events Post Type. Now go to the Meta Query tab. Click the coin stack icon next to the field name input to start filling in the meta key. Choose the jet engine meta field as the macro type and select the meta field that contains your event date. Click apply. At this point the query knows where to look inside each post to determine whether it should appear in the listing. For the compare operator choose greater than if you only want to show events that will happen after today or choose greater or equal if you want to include events happening today as well. Now we need to set the value to compare against, which should be the current date coming from the hidden filter. Click the macros button next to the value field, choose JetSmart filters query variable, and in the next step, fill in the variable name. That's the name you assign to your hidden filter. No need to worry about the other fields, just hit apply. Once the query is ready, Save it and go back to the page editor where your listing grid is. In the content settings tab, open the custom query section, toggle on use custom query and select the custom query you just created by its name. Now hit publish and let's take a look at which posts are being displayed on the front end. And just as promised, on the front end, in our grid list we only see events that are scheduled to happen after today. This is a super simple functionality to set up using JetSmart filters and Jet Engine, so definitely keep it in mind for your future projects. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, hit the like button to help boost the video visibility and as always, thanks for watching, bye.